EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here through Outlook for August 2nd, 2022. It is Tuesday, and the Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by J. Evans Property Services, serving York, Lancaster, Chester, Berks, Lebanon, and Southern Dolphin Counties in Pennsylvania and also Northern Maryland. J. Evans Property Services is a family-owned business that offers quality work at competitive prices. They feature premium landscaping and design, sod install, drainage solutions, as well as residential and commercial property maintenance. In addition, they have two carpenters on board that specialize in decks and fences with over 15 years of experience and are offering 15% off any new deck or fence installed through the remainder of 2022 and are also now offering early bird specials for fall cleanup projects with any new clients calling to schedule before August 31st. You can reach out to them at the phone number above me in the video or schedule an estimate through their website at landscapingcontractorslancasterpa.com. They are Jay Evans Property Services, proud sponsors of the Tuesday video forecast. So today we have a kind of a, I guess you can call it a cold front, it, just technically it is, but uh, you will have an opportunity for just a stray shower in a few spots, and it's I wouldn't get excited about that opportunity today. Uh, but uh, the European model has that in our far northern interior areas. The NAM isn't really thrilled. Starting us off at noon here, moving this forward. You see a few spotty showers here. This will be a brief five-minute shower. No thunderstorms. Uh, just a spotty shower in a few spots. And you see them running across north northeast PA, northern New Jersey here on this particular NAM run. So if you get a quick shower here during the afternoon or early evening, that is uh, not out of the question today. But most areas will remain dry, and we are partly cloudy today. Temperatures are going to be warmer than we saw yesterday, much warmer than we saw yesterday. It was actually quite cool. Uh, today, we are back in the 85 to 90 degree range from north to south or northwest to southeast. So we are going to be watching this forecast for the rest of the week uh, very closely because we have Music Fest coming up. It is our, uh, we're now for the ninth, ninth consecutive year, we are the official weather forecast providers for Music Fest. Uh, if you don't know what Music Fest is, it's a big uh, festival that draws about 1.2 million people every single year. It's a 10-day festival, actually 10 plus an intro day, so it's actually 11 days, beginning August 4th and ending August 14th. It is in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, uh, south, south side of Bethlehem, and uh, we will be running this forecast very meticulously for them. So they're a year-round client of ours, and so the public's going to see a little bit of what we do privately that's going to be made public because we have a Music Fest forecast page that's going to go up on Thursday morning. And we'll have hourly detailed forecasts. And we're going to micromanage the heck out of this forecast for this next uh, 10 to 14 days when this is going on. Okay, so uh, what we're really interested in is keeping rain and thunderstorms away from the festival. Now, I can't control the weather no matter how many people think I can. But what we can do is stay on top of that so we can they can plan around that and uh, uh, make sure all the... Uh, patrons are safe for the event in the event of uh, thunder and lightning. So we're going to be micromanaging the heck out of this forecast this week as we do every single year. So going to Wednesday, Wednesday is a, uh, back to mostly sunny skies. Uh, most areas are going to get in the upper 80s to low 90s across the region to see above me 87 and 92 is a spread for Wednesday. It's a mostly sunny day. Also a mostly sunny day here on Thursday. However, uh, we're going to have one heck of a surge of temperatures coming in here ahead of this front here with a southwesterly wind flow and temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 90s here on Thursday. So it's going to be quite hot of the uh, this entire stretch, which we expect to be above average between today and August 8th. That's the period we have uh, outlined in the, well, the, you guys didn't see the long range that I, because uh, I didn't update it on Friday, I was on vacation. I'll update it again publicly on Friday, but I do it privately in our premium form Mondays and Wednesdays. The form update this morning, I include that period between the 2nd and eighth, and the 8th of August for at least slightly above average temperatures. But Thursday is going to be a surge. That's the peak heating of this entire stretch that we're going to be in. Now, keep in mind, if you're in the upper 80s, if your normal high is 86 and we're forecasting 88 or 89 or 90, that might not be incredibly hot, but it's still technically slightly above average. So that's where we're getting that uh, warmer period from. It's not going to be, aside from Thursday, the entire stretch there that I spoke of, is not going to be incredibly above average, usually just by a couple degrees, two, two or three degrees. That's all it is, okay? Uh, once we get to Friday, here's the first front coming at us. This is a cold front, and we do expect scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening on Friday, the extent of which is still going to be unknown until we get into the mesoscale models, which is this, the NAM, 
the three kilometer NAM, that is one of them we use. That's one of the main ones we use. Uh, so once that comes into, into range, uh, and we get, uh, you know, it's not a range yet. It doesn't, this only goes to right now, Thursday. So uh, we have to wait until like it's a range. Obviously there's nothing up until Thursday because it's mostly sunny Wednesday and Thursday. So once that gets in a range, we'll have a better idea of what kind of storms we're dealing with. If this is going to be a more widespread thing or it's going to be hit or miss. I would, I would bank on it Friday being a little bit more widespread. So we have variable clouds, Variable clouds on Friday with scattered thunderstorms likely uh, late in the day and evening. And this is looking at uh, 8 p.m. on Friday. You can see it's made its way to most of the area except for far southeast, but that will move into those areas overnight and evening and overnight as well. After that point, we have another, the, the same front's going to be hung up a little bit. It's going to be slow to move through. So I think Saturday you're going to have another uh, opportunity for partly sunny start, then scattered PM uh, showers and thunderstorms. Again, the extent of which will be found out once we get a little bit closer to that with the short range models coming in. And then after this point, this is where the uh, models start to diverge. So here is Sunday uh, on the European model. Still has isolated to scattered shower or thunderstorm activity. If I go over to the GFS, however, uh, here's Friday. It agrees with it on Friday with the numerous scattered showers and thunderstorms. It agrees with it on Saturday with still some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. Then they get to Sunday. It uh, doesn't have anything or very little, okay? Uh, and same thing for Monday. doesn't have anything at all on Monday, okay? That's the GFS. Uh, European model has this activity here on Sunday afternoon. So we kept lower percentage uh, chances for Sunday, but we did not eliminate it. The same thing here for Monday. Uh, had us some isolated to scattered activity here. Uh, whereas the GFS does not. So again, we're going to be micromanaging this very closely uh, for this festival that we have, which is right about here. If you don't know where Bethlehem is, it's right about there, right where I put that dot. So uh, we're going to be focusing on that area specifically, like we always do. And now it's just the public's going to see a little bit of it on our forecast page and what we do for them privately throughout the year. And then finally, uh, once we get past this, uh, actually, we're just going to be honored. That's the end of our seven-day forecast period. So right now, we'll get into Tuesday and beyond after that point. But it does look like once we get past this stretch, there's going to be another cold front move through. Once this moves through, it uh, looks like we're going to have another drier stretch again for several days beyond that, too, just looking ahead. But temperatures are going to come down uh, after we get past the 8th. I said it's going to be up till the 8th that we have those above-average temperatures, or at least slightly above-average temperatures. Once we get to the 9th and beyond for probably a good week or so, Temperatures are going to be near to perhaps very slightly below average for that entire stretch. And then we might start turning up, uh, warming up again as we head toward the end of the month. But uh, we'll see. I'll uh, continue to uh, watch that for you for the long range, and I'll have that updated again on Friday like we normally do on normal schedule with the latest long range outlook at that time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for August 2nd, almost said July, August 2nd, 2022. Have a great Tuesday.